Well, good morning. It is day 32 on the Camino del Norte. I'm Anita, AKA the professor. If you've been following me, thank you so much. And if you're new, hey, I hope you subscribe. Today we have a 13 mile day, uh, mostly through uh, farmland and just a few climbs. It looks like there's gonna be a pretty good climb coming out of town. What else is new? And uh, the weather has cleared up at least for the moment. Uh, rain could be moving in later. So I would like to get uh, to the hotel before uh, the rain sets in. Foot's feeling pretty good. Um, the drama from yesterday is over. Everything turned out so well. The people here were just wonderful. And uh, as you can see behind me, fishing boats are about to leave. So that's maybe a cue for me to get on the road as well. All right, see you down there. So it looks like this is a former church and cemetery, um, Antigua Church and Cemetery de Santiago. And the origin is in the Middle Ages. Looks like from the 10th century. Wow. Very beautiful. It is a historic monument in the area. Kind of cool that you can still walk around in it. Look at this. You can just see the water right over the cornfield here. Look at that. 
There's some boats out in the distance. Beautiful. Not quite sure what's going on here. The uh, this is right by the shrine, and there were a lot of signs that said "keep out," basically go away. But I can't for the life of me figure out why. Because it's really pretty. Somebody has spent a lot of time making these. Oh well. Looks like uh, a little bit more of a climb to go. Here's a fun fact. The hay wrapped in white doesn't smell anywhere near as bad as the ones in black. Maybe the white reflects more? I don't know. But uh, certainly doesn't have the uh, rancid smell that the black ones did. This is actually pleasant walking through uh, farmland and we're heading into a little village. Let's see if they have a cafe, huh? Okay. I'm about a mile away from a cafe. I keep seeing signs for. 
but look at this view. Yeah, that's the, uh, the sea out there on the horizon. Farmland, towns, lovely breeze, and no rain. And the cloud cover is really beneficial as well. But look at this water. Look at that. We have one more day to enjoy the uh, water and then we'll be turning inland towards Santiago. So let's enjoy it while we can. Ah. All right. Time to head down for the cafe. Well, when it rains, it pours. Not but one, but two cafes. All right, let's go see what we have. Well, another downhill and more rocks. Okay, let's take it easy. And after the downhill, now we go over this little stream. Huh.
Okay, this is my hotel for the night. It is a Classico Arias. Certainly uh, can't stay at a place like this every night, but you know what? Once in a while, you need this. So a lovely little garden. I'm gonna try not to get run over. And my room is over here in this building. Actually have to use a key to get in the building. And just look at this. Look at the decor. Some beautiful little seating area if you want to come down here and relax. You can go up the stairs. My room is up on the third floor. Lovely little room. Has a little fridge. Big TV. And of course, you have to have a nice bathroom. So, beautiful little bathroom. Clothes are hanging up. And now it is time to relax for the night. So, I will give you a recap uh, of the day in just a little bit. This is what a hungry pilgrim really wanted today. Got some little like egg roll things, some fried chicken tenders, some dumplings, and a beer. And looks like a little dessert he brought out to me. So we'll see if that satisfies my appetite. If not, I'll order more. Well, that is all from day 32. Hard to believe, but we're getting ever so closer to Santiago, aren't we? Uh, beautiful day today. It really was. Even without the blue sky, the, the scenery was gorgeous. The sound of the farmland, um, all kinds of critters along the way. Everything from snails to sheep to kitty cats to horses, you name it, we had it all today. And um, a variety of surfaces. Again, that is something to consider. Um, is to understand that you're going to be on pavement, you're going to be on gravel, you're going to be on mud. We had some mud today. And a little bit of everything. Uh, my shoes are really worn out. Um, and I think that is partly the reason for my foot discomfort. Um, the, the treads are pretty well shot as well as the insoles. So I'm thinking uh, my next rest day, there's a decathlon store. Think of a big REI sporting goods store. Um, and I think I might be buying some new shoes. We'll just see. And uh, we have, I was wrong. I thought we only had one day. We actually have two more days along the coast. I forgot I had broken up a, a really long day into two. So let's uh, hope for some good weather. They are calling for rain again tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I really want some uh, blue sky to show off the uh, the beautiful um, coastline, but we'll just deal with whatever Mother Nature has, right? And uh, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to do maybe a little bit of yoga, stretch the muscles, uh, get them back into shape. Everything's feeling good. Feels like I did 13 miles. That's all right. And we'll do that again tomorrow as well. All right. Take care, and I will see you all tomorrow on day 33. Bye.